here's what you should know, and here's what you may want to be concerned about, very concerned. Iran rejects role in attacks against U.S. facilities in Iraq. The ambassador and permanent representative of the Islamic Republic of Iran to the United Nations wrote a letter to the president of the U.N. Security Council denying Iran's role in the drones over facilities housing U.S. troops in Iraq. If the ambassador is speaking the truth. We are all in trouble. Wendy Ingram here. Welcome to the Education Matrix channel. On this channel, we talk about news surrounding the revalue of the Iraqi dinar, the Vietnam dong, and the Zimbabwe dollar. We also provide low-cost investment options in gold, silver, and platinum, along with tips on equity share investments starting at 100 to 500 U.S. dollars for low-cost investment. Here we learned that Iran power cuts fuel fears in Iraq at scorching summer peaks. Iraqis protest electricity cuts as temperatures reach 122 degrees. But here's the deal, people. Three power lines and electricity transmission towers were blown up by militants in northern Iraq, causing disruption in the grid. Now, if this is not enough, the channel will present a special report on Thursday that will explain why and how a Kurdish civil war could easily be on the agenda in Iraq in the coming months, if not the coming weeks. It seems that drone warfare is a problem for more than just the United States. In this article, we learn others are asking serious questions about drones and the ability to control drone traffic. At the same time, the United States shares intel on a new weapon which can take out hundreds of drones instantly and silently. In this article, we learned that Iraqi Tax Commission cracks down on international energy companies. Seems mega international corporations working in Iraq are behind in taxes owed to the Iraqi government. In fact, there is a total number of about 20 companies. The links to all of these articles are in the description. Here we learn that Iraq is receiving help. They are to receive 360 million U.S. dollars from the World Bank to help expand get gas flaring reduction. Zimbabwe has threatened to ban traders from the country's Forex auction platform for taking advantage of the price gap between the black market and the official currency. You should know Capital Bank Group, one of the largest banking institutions operating in Jordan and Iraq markets, signed a partnership agreement with Coinbase. This may or may not be Iraq moving towards a digital currency foundation. The link is in the description. You should also know that OPEC is receiving pushback from Arab countries who are not up for limiting the amount of oil in the coming months. Years. There's been this long raging debate we've had. Is it really nature, your genes, or is it nurture, the environment that make you you? And what we have figured out is that it's not one or the other. It's always both. The problem is, this is just a lot of data. Your genome consists of basically 7 billion bases of DNA. 7 billion pieces of information. On top of that, there's thousands of lab tests, thousands of kinds of diets people have. We all differ in kinds of exercise we do, or how much of it, where we live, the kinds of jobs we have. All this stuff matters, and the way we go about solving this really hard problem 
is through using artificial intelligence and machine learning. And this is what we're really doing here at Self Decode. We're taking all this data, combining it in order to make better predictions, in order to make precise recommendations on the things you can do today in order to have a brighter future. Everyone is a little different, right? Just because a certain kind of exercise or therapy or supplement or vitamin or anything else works in one individual doesn't mean it's going to work in you. And that's what this is all about. We use that genetic data, this environmental data to figure out the kinds of things that matter to you as an individual. I went to a therapist and tried to seek answers as to why we were always fighting and maybe I had a problem that I could solve. The solution, I didn't really get any. They pretty much told me that I was fine, I didn't have any issues. At about this time, I was starting to work at Self Decode. I was browsing through some of the health reports. I happened to stumble along the mood report and I downloaded it and I was able to see that my top recommendations were 5-HTP and lithium orotate because it said that I was predisposed to being at risk for anxiety. So I'm like, okay, I, I do have trouble sleeping sometimes. Like, maybe this could help me. I tried taking those supplements and the results were actually night and day. After taking those supplements, I was finally able to be aware of my emotions, communicate with my partner, and I wasn't getting mad at everything that came up all of a sudden. I was much more stable. It really just enhanced my life. It's a long-standing goal in the 20th century healthcare in order to lead us to what we like to call precision health. And it's this idea that instead of using broad recommendations, lose weight, we more precisely and accurately recommend therapy, lifestyle changes, exercise re regimes, what kind of nutrition to have that's tailored to you as an individual. And all of this is in order to help you improve your health. We at Self Decode are all about helping pave the road to precision health. And you know what? We can't do this alone. And that's why we're asking you for your help. Together, we can create a brighter future for everyone. Self-Decode is a great platform for anyone wanting to learn more about their body.